Hi and welcome to a new video. If you want to import photos and videos from your iPhone or iPad to your Mac, then stay tuned. In this video, I'll show you the quickest way to do it. Let's go. To transfer under 500 photos, the fastest method is AirDrop. Simply select the photos and share them with your Mac via AirDrop. Of course, AirDrop must be enabled on the Mac. With many photos or large videos, it won't work very well or takes a long time. In this case, you should do the entire process with a lightning cable. To transfer the photos via cable, you have to configure some settings on your iPhone. Go to Settings, scroll down to Photos, and here you need to turn on Download and Keep Originals. Otherwise, the original quality photos will only be saved to the cloud and not to your iPhone. Further down, you will find the setting Transfer to Mac and PC. Make sure you have the option Keep Originals On. Go back to the settings and this time click on Camera, then Formats. And here, you can choose between two image formats that the iPhone uses to take pictures. The first one is High Efficiency. Then the pictures have the file extension .heif. Alternatively, you can choose Most Compatible. In this case, the photos are taken in JPEG format. For those photos which are located on the iPhone now, it won't matter. This is only relevant for the photos you will take in the future. AGIF uses less storage but is not as popular. However, the JPEG format needs more memory. If you have changed the settings of your photos, your iPhone have to load for 15 minutes straight, maybe even longer, and wait until the photos are loaded from the cloud to your iPhone. Only data that is locally on the iPhone can be transferred. Now, connect your iPhone to your computer. For the next step, a cable is needed. Sometimes you may require a hub as well. There are USB to Lightning cables and USB-C to Lightning cables. It is important that the cables are MFI certified so that data can be transferred. With the original ones, it must always work. Links to good adapters and MFI cables can be found down below in the video description. In my opinion, the photo library from Apple is better for your own photos than a simple folder on your Mac because you have more features there. You can sort your photos by person and location and have features like memories. Good to know, the photo library is saved by default under the user and then pictures. If you don't see your user, click on the finder at the top, then go to Preferences. Click on Sidebar and select the user. To import the photos, open the Photos app on your Mac. And if you haven't already done so, type in your iPhone code and trust the computer if a pop-up appears. Click on your device on the left. Now, you can either import all the new items on the Mac or select the photos one by one and click on Import Selected at the top. If you want to have the photos in a folder, it's easy as well. Just open the app called Image Capture and click on your device. You'll need to enter the code on your iPhone and trust your device one more time like I did in the Photos app before. Then, select the photos you want to import. If you would like to select more than one, hold down the Shift key. At the bottom, you can select the directory where you want to save the pictures and finally click Import. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.